Hi everyone, this is your host Fida Jilani. In this video, I'll do finally the unboxing of MSI GTCC Dominator. It has NVIDIA GTS 870M graphics card, Intel 4th generation Core i7 4700MQ CPU, 8GB RAM, 1TB hard disk, 7200RPM. Along with the unboxing, I'll keep sharing my one month experience of this laptop. I made this unboxing video while when I had actually received this laptop one month ago. So therefore, while I'm editing this video, I'll be sharing my comments and experiences as well. The first thing, why did I buy this laptop? Actually, I want to buy a performance laptop that could not only play games then, but can also do all of my PhD related tasks. Yes, I'm a PhD student in networks and I really need to run some CPU extensive applications like virtual machines, Visual Studio, former methods application, etc, etc. But my budget was not, budget was not enough to buy any real expensive laptop. And I wanted to get maximum within my budget and this was the best option. So I had to change 4800MQ to save $130 to upgrade this laptop with an SSD. I bought this from exotic PC through Amazon. So this was just an intro. Now the box. It has standard logo, steel series keyboard, which I haven't used except just to show off different colors, Dyn Audio, Kira Network cars. On this logo, you will see 4800MQ because this is the standard box. Otherwise, inside it has just 4700MQ. Now, now let's open this box. Well, inside the box, there are no extra accessories, just a standard laptop and power cable and adapter. These boxes on each side of the laptop are just to protect during delivery. Let's put them aside. Well, if you open this one on the right, in this box we have the first, the standard power cable. Then we have the power adapter of the laptop. Whoa, yeah, that was my first expression. It is big because it has to power an awesome laptop with an awesome GPU. But it doesn't diminish the fact that it is big. How big? Let's compare this with my HP Pavilion DV40 14 inch power adapter. It's tiny, teeny as compared to the big one. It's just like someone standing beside Big Show WWE. Well, now, if we compare this with my LG Nexus 4, still big. On the other hand, if I compare my LG Nexus 4 with the tiny, teeny adapter, mobile is big. And it's almost one kg, half a kg or one pound heavy. Now, underneath, Underneath this we have the standard envelope containing important documentation and one important thing inside and that is this hard disk carry. Yes, what is it? This guy. Because if you don't, you will end up paying 10 x $10 extra if you lose this one. How you do it? You have to put it in on your SSD are the second hard disk and then use this to insert that SSD or the hard disk into the second bay. Yes, that's how you do it. And don't only put screw on this side, not on the other side because the other side will be used to have screw that will come from the back panel. So Put screw only on this side. So these are just other few 
things just make sure to keep this driver DVD for rainy days because if you in future you had to reinstall windows the network card wired or wireless will not be installed automatically so just imagine what could you do then if you don't have the connectivity so don't lose any of these things just keep this stuff in the box so don't throw it away simply let's remove this cover well the laptop came with the battery inside well not a good practice maybe it's because exotic PC had to customize the laptop then they didn't remove it afterwards but anyhow that was odd and then one of the jack clip whatever you want to call it was loose so I had to push it inside so that the snap sound if you might have heard that is this so I have to push it inside now the laptop it is a beautiful nicely built laptop trust me and for those who want to do this 360 at their homes they can use the wooden cutting board cutting board because this is what I'm using because I've seen this in different reviews I liked it I didn't have any of such things so I use the wooden cutting board to do the same thing mm, and yeah, nicely done well the top panel is made up of metal I guess aluminium it looks nice but at the same time it is the magnet of fingerprints yes it is and you can see that this could be this could be the case in three to four days if you don't wipe your hands after eating maybe even before depending upon what you eat and how you eat now let's talk about the ports on the left of the laptop we have four audio jacks one USB 2.0 DVD writer first audio jack port is for headphones or front speakers second for microphone third for ear speakers and fourth for surround speakers On the back of the laptop we have one Kingston log, one RJ45 network port by Killer, then two mini display ports and one HDMI. I was reading somewhere that the mini display ports are 4K ready. That is you can connect a 4K TV through these ports. Whether the HDMI is 4K ready or not I have no idea. And there is no VGA port and sometimes it may be considered as shortcoming but the idea is to have all HD ports because VGA is not HD and you can connect three displays full HD with these ports without any special port and this is my working configuration all 1080p screens no problem awesome 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 feature On the right side of the laptop there are three USB ports and all USB ports are 3.0 we have more ventilation and then a card reader slot 